Well, this particular picture took me fancy, and uh, I liked his face. I had a good laugh when I seen this dog. So I've just drawn it in roughly. I haven't uh, done anything too fantastic. Bits and pieces, what I thought were around here. I've left blank because I'm, I'm going to put them in anyway. And uh, I hope I've got the eyes right. I'm just trying to work out. Yeah, yeah, I've got a bit of fiddling about to do and things like that, but I, I think animals are a little bit more uh, forgiving. Because if you make a mistake on an animal, then let people don't often notice, unless it's their own dog. Um, but I, I don't think I'm very good at doing them faces. Anyway, I'm still waiting for some paper. This is, uh, this is that term paper for pastels and I've turned, the, turned it over and what I've done I've um, I don't know if you can see that, that that's this shiny side and this was the other side yeah sorry wrong way around I'll try and look to the camera and everything else yeah this is the side with all the the rough on it you can see it's horrendous probably okay for pastels but the other side's better for what I want on this but I have sent for a pad um, about 200 pound it is I think it's 80 84 85 or something pound, pounds in, in, in American expressions I think it's about 200 um, grams per square inch in, in, the, in the English side of it type the way we express it I understand 200 anyway and it's it's just um, it's 40 grams heavier than normal card what you get card stock, um, so it should be quite good. And uh, I'll try that and see what it's like. And it should have a nice tooth, or uh, well, a reasonable tooth. I, I, I'm going to try some hot pressed paper because that's what they reckon you need for sort of pencils really to get a good coverage and, and less of the. It's got a bit of a tooth on it, but not as not as much as these have. You don't need a lot of tooth. I don't think you need as much tooth as they say you do. But I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not uh, I'm not a professional or anything. But that dog took me fancy. So that's what I'm going to do anyway. So uh, I've been cursing and swearing and while well, I've been drawing it in. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got no idea. I might have overreached myself again. But I'm, I'm going to video every, every bit. I ain't going to do any time lapses because I ain't good enough yet. But if I, if I do enough of these... Um, I might uh, just do that. Anyway, I'll stop there. We shall see. Well, uh, this is my second stage. I'm not doing time lapse. It took me ages to get to this point. Anybody watching me trying to do this would be sick. Um, <laughs> I don't know how far you've got to go with these colours. Um, they, when they do it on time lapse, they don't see how long they take. So I'm assuming it's 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 hours and hours, maybe days. I don't know, but uh, I haven't got the hang of these pencils yet. That's what I'm trying to achieve, and uh, I haven't got any colour on there yet. There's hardly any colour on, but uh, I'm trying. And the new thing I got today as well was um, I got a new pad. It's um, fine grain heavyweight, and it's. Um, I'm, I do apologise, I, I think I said it was £85, it's £120 in fact and it's 200 grams per square metre and it's uh, it's 16 and a half by 11, just over 11 and a half inches 420 by 297 millimetre if anybody wants to know and uh, apparently it's good for pencils and paints pens, uh, chalks, it's acid free and uh, I haven't tried it yet, but it, it, it's got a very, very good quality on it, a very good surface, a very, seems to have a good surface. 
and not too knotty so I should be able to um, I should be able to do things with it um, yeah I haven't got any room to put anything at the minute I'm still, I never finished that one either I got tired of doing that one <laughs> I'll probably get tired of doing this one next um, anyway there's 30 sheets in this that's what that 30 means sorry I was thinking that's what I was thinking about 30 and it's A3 size uh, it's got a nice big thick board on the back I don't think it's any good any good for working on your knees or anything but uh, I only use a sheet at a time and uh, this is the back of that paper that's the front of that uh, horrible well it's not horrible it's pastel paper with that heavy grain on and this is the back of it and it's working a little bit better um, but it's st there's still lots of spaces there, lots and lots of spaces, uh, which I'm going to have to work on and need. I'm going to have to use, to use my little uh, tortolons, and there are also them other ones. Which the tortolons are the thin ones, in fact, and I was and the other ones are um, uh, like rubbers. They're like uh, paper rubbers. Um, so there's two different types there, in fact. So in my ignorance, I said they were all tortolons, tortolons, but they're not. Anyway, that's my paper and that's as far as I've got so far, so I'm playing a bit of music. It's giving me a headache doing this actually, I've got uh, I've got a bit of a strain in the neck. When you're young I don't suppose it bothers you, but uh, people say it doesn't, doesn't matter what age you are when you start this artwork, but <laughs> it's certainly hurting me, uh, it's giving me a headache. But um, I'm trying to follow what everybody says, there's millions and millions of different people I've, I've looked at nearly everybody, there's millions on the net, I haven't seen them all, but I've looked at as many as I can watch uh, up to now and uh, I'm just going to keep going and going and going until I get get what I want, I'm probably doing it all wrong. I can't tell you what pencils I'm using because I don't really know, I'm just figuring out what pencils there are, some box, I've got about three or four boxes open there and uh, there isn't enough pencils in one box to do what you want, mostly Mostly it's purples and greys and browns and uh, whites <laughs> and blues. That's what I've been using, well for this particular one anyway. And I think I used the same for that one and a few flesh tones. Anyway, I shall stop there and uh, carry on in a minute and uh, I'll get along and see how far I get. I might not even finish that, it might end up like this one, dead on the wall. <laughs> Well, I'm not reaching the final stages, but uh, I'm feeling a bit better. I'm not really successful. I'm not too happy with it. Um, it's tougher than I thought it was going to be. I don't know what angle I'm on here. It looks a bit twisted, but it can't be twisted. I've checked all the angles and everything. I've got a few bits and pieces to do. and. It's my first attempt on an animal anyway, so they're really difficult these these, uh, these pencils. And another thing I've noticed, I've got a water pot. <laughs> I hope I open my water, I always do, I don't know why, I always get my water pot first, distilled water. Yeah, the uh, water colours. I, I haven't even touched it. <laughs> I might drink it later. Oh dear. So anyway that's uh, that's as far as I've got, that's as far as I'm going tonight. Anyway, I've, I've had enough. I'm getting a bit tired now, my back's giving me a bit of a play up. But uh, I'm going to persevere. And they certainly take longer to do than the other ones. I, I don't know whether I'm trying to be too. I'm working on an angle as well. I haven't got it on an easel, I've got it on the flat board. Because the, the, my easel's too floppy. And uh, I've got an easel that I made, which is this one, but I haven't got anywhere to put it because it's so big. Um, but I'll find somewhere, probably a table or something, a big table downstairs. And uh, anyway, I shall stop there. So this might be another disaster, I don't know. I don't feel too comfortable with it at the moment anyway. I can't quite sit I don't know. I'm, I'm not even halfway through yet. I've got to, I've got to get it down to the same colour as that. So I've got to keep going over and over and over. Anyway, I shall persevere.
Well, I've reached the next stage. I don't know whether it's the final stage yet or not, but uh, one of the girls I was watching, I forget her name now. She's quite, she's quite popular on the. I think she does it for her business and things, but uh, she does some good work. And um, she said, it "Doesn't matter what you do, as long as you finish." And I'm glad I, I did. I was going to give in, but. Uh, with these pencils. I've never used them before so I couldn't understand how I'd get black and uh, if anybody's like me getting disheartened I haven't got the dog right but I have got the colours I think I'm getting the colours right it needs a bit more work but um, I've got the colours here if anybody's interested I, I, I'm using um, Polychromos uh, Faber-Castell and I'm using Derwent and the Derwent pencils I'm using at the moment are um, uh, they're called Derwent 12 soft drawing pencils and I, I do like them I, I must admit I like them they've got a, a solid feel to them I, I cut mine with a I cut the ends with a with a with an alpha knife I use I, I swear by alpha knives, I, I absolutely love alpha knives. And there's no way you can cut your fingers if you cut pencils properly. But um I'm I'm getting I'm getting sort of points like this. See if I can get it in shot for you. That's the sort of points I'm getting, and that's the sort of points that they give you when they're in the tin. But um I'm I'm quite happy with it and um the colours I used, if anybody's interested, um, I'm using uh, the Derwin Ink Blue from this set. I've only got two. I've only got the two sets at the moment. I've only got like 24 pencils, and um, I'm using this one here, the Derwin Ink Blue, three three seven two zero. And uh, what I do find is with them is, which is a bit uh, off putting. When I find it, there we are, blue. I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty. Uh, I work a pencil to death, and this is the one I've been using a lot. And if you look, you'll see that there's um, the writing's rubbed off. There's no writing on it. It's absolutely gone. I don't know if that affects anybody else. They're all right when they're brand new in the box, but these are um, these are Derwent drawing pencils. And uh, luckily I've got the number down, I've written the number down, but I didn't realise that they rubbed off, but they do. Anyway, that's just a point, I mean, it's, I don't know if it interests anybody that. <clears throat> anyway, the other one I got was a, a Faber-Castell, I'm, I'm chopping and changing, but I've only, I've only used one, two, three, four, six pens, well, six pencils, sorry. And... Um, as far as I know, I, can't, I don't remember using anything else, and I haven't used black, because I tell you not to. I, I do, I'm religious in when, when people tell me something, especially when a half a dozen tell you. Um, yeah, so I've used Fable uh, Castel Magenta, which is this one, which I quite like. I'm getting quite used to that one. And uh, it's uh, uh, number 133. I'll try and get it in focus. Yeah, number 133, Faber Castell. And the other one is a, a Derwent Solway Blue. I know this Ameri Americans are, irritates Americans instead of grey, they call it Solway, Solway Blue. But uh, yeah, this is it. It's, it's, it's a Derwent pencil. I'm mixing match. I don't know about colour fastness or anything yet. I don't know whether whatever's what. And uh, But these aren't going to last me 10 minutes anyway. They'll be going in the bin before long. I'm only pra it's only practice. And the next one I did was a Faber Castell Scarlet, which is a 219. And uh, I use that one quite often. And the red with the blue gives you the black. Blue or not, isn't that incredible? And uh, yeah, with the blue and the purple, you get, with those three pencils, I you, you can produce that, that colour. The red, um, the purple and the, the, the blue. And um, 
The only colour I added was Walnut Brown from Faber Castell, which is a, a 177, which is that one. Yeah, Faber Castell. Uh, 177 and a, a yellow I just used the yellow for inside the eye so I don't know whether I used an orange I might have used an orange if I did the only other orange I've got is yeah I may well have used an orange I'm sorry I might have just used the orange as well why I did I don't know but this is a Faber Castell uh, orange it's the only one I've got there's no oranges in the other one so this is a Faber Castell I'll give you the number uh, a 115 from the Cop Polychromos uh, range. So those are the pencils. I haven't used green. Maybe I should have used green as well. I don't know. But that day went blue. Looks as though it's got a, a bit of green in it by the looks of it. And um, so that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven colours. Seven colours I used to produce that. Um, I don't know what you think of what my first attempt in. I painted before. I'm not saying I haven't painted and I've drawn before, but I've never used these. And the wife said, "Oh, that's a nice painting." And I said, "It's not a painting. It's a, it's it's a coloured pencil." <laughs> she said, "What crayons?" I said, "No, they're not crayons. Don't call them crayons for God's sake." <laughs> but anyway, um, that's what I've done. And the other thing is that I painted it on this. I painted it. I've drawn it on this um, Reeves pastel pad. And uh, I don't know if you like the tooth on it. I'm, I quite this was this this was turned round, so that that's the toothy side, which you can see there. That's got a, a good tooth on it. You can see, and this one's the other side with uh, very little tooth, but it just leave a a little pleasant grain in it, which uh, I don't mind. But that's the wrong way around. And uh, this is um, yeah, it's made in China. And the only thing I did moan a little bit about was, which irritated me, was this. Now there's several colours in this sheet. You get 16 sheets. I forget how much it was now. It's A3. But quality control is a big, big blob right in the middle there. I, don't, it's, I haven't done it. and I, It was on that sheet there, but I've covered it up with pen. But I don't know whether it should be in there or not. I was I was quite miffed about it, actually. I was looking to see if there was any... any there, there's another one there. See, look. There's some more. That's not marks off my inks or anything. It, it's it's in the paper. So the quality control from China isn't very good. That's probably why it's cheap. I don't know. So it isn't on every sheet, but there's another one you see. But it's on several of them. Anyway, I, I'm not mourning. It wasn't expensive, and I've got my new paper now, which is um, <coughs> good quality stuff. So. I don't know whether I call that a day. It's close to being finished, but it, it still isn't up to it still isn't up to that that colour. So I'll probably have to keep going on and on. I don't know how much more I can go with the with the colours um, and how much more the, the paper will take the tooth. But uh, I've, I've spent hours. It took me it's took me longer than I would to spend. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. But it's only one object. I mean, normally I'd do bears and there's. It, there's lots of facets in a, a bird paint and lots of intricacies and things like this, but there's there's not there's no intricacies in this. It's what it is. It's the it's the laying on of the colour. It, it, it's putting on the colour and then <laughs> blending it and everything. I don't, anyway, uh, I was more interested in the painting than I was the actual uh, the drawing. Sorry, than the, the actual um, putting the colour on. I mean, rather than the pencils. And uh, I haven't got the, the, it's not too good at the moment, I, it's not all that good, but if anybody's starting out, it might help somebody who's starting out, just to, if they feel a bit frustrated, just carry on and carry on and use your own, use your own thing, um, imagination. People, people can tell you, but they do their own thing, so by the time you've looked at ten people, they've all got a different style, how they put the colour on, some put a flat wash on and things like this. And, uh, Others you use um, baby oils and stuff like this. I, I nearly got into trouble with. I, I've been using um, rubbing alcohol, and a, I don't know whether it's a tortillion stick or whether this is a, a. I think this is a tortillion, and the other one is a paper butt. I'm not sure if it's a paper butt or. I'm not quite sure. There's. I was listening to an American lad, and they, they seem quite knowledgeable. And it, it, 
I have been sharpening it up and removing the colour and stuff like that and uh, and blending but uh, they're dangerous if you uh, if you apply it wrong it's, it, it can be dangerous and it, it flattens the picture out so it doesn't look realistic anymore and what I'm after is realism that's the next thing I'm after getting the colours right and I'm after realism so if you use one of these beasts um, make sure that uh, you use it with uh, care uh, and I've been using alcohol. I don't know what it's like with the uh, tapes, the special tapes that you use. But anyway, that's of all the, all the things I spent. That's that's those are the pencils and the bits I use. So I want two, four, six, seven pencils, and the the little tortillion thing, a little bit of rubbing alcohol which I use when I make my soaps, and uh, that's it. That's all I've done. That's all I've used. And the roughest of papers you can imagine but uh, so you don't have to be uh, maybe it might be easier with a new paper I don't know I've got no idea I'm used to Arcos paper I used but I used to buy Arcos paper for watercolor painting and uh, it was um, oh it was very heavy paper nearly three uh, about uh, nearly three hundred pound press um, it was cold press because you want the surface and we need hot press don't we for the shiny surface um, anyway I'm bubbling now so I'll stop there anyway and uh, I don't know where I'll finalise this and finish it or I ain't got much else to say because I don't know much else <laughs> but uh, I've been struggling on this so if you do are struggling keep keep going just keep going like that like, lady said on the television I'll, I'll remember her name in my next video and put it down because she's she speaks very fast I've got I, I'd like a thing that slows her down so I can catch what she's saying what she's saying anyway I'll stop there